Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Today we're going to discuss subtopic 1.1 Dimensions of Physical Quantities. This discussion will be conducted in two languages. Here are some notes and tips about the subtopic. First, put the physical quantity inside the square bracket only. For example, we write time or the symbol of time which is T inside the square bracket. Second one, dimensions cannot be added or subtracted. Meaning that whenever we are doing the working, do not put the symbol plus, minus or any operation while doing the solution. The third one, dimension of dimensionless constant is 1. For example, the dimension of 2 equal to 1. 2 is dimensionless constant. However, we still have to put it inside the square bracket and write the solution which is 1. Put the power index outside the square bracket. For example, if we have V square, only write the V inside the square bracket. However, the square should be written outside the square bracket. The common question answer pairs. If we have mass, the dimension of mass is capital M. For length, capital L. And for time, capital T. Okay. Kita tengok soalan pertama. Book's law states that below elastic limit, restoring force F is given by F equal to negative kx. F equal to negative kx. While Newton's second law states that F equal to ma. So, we write here, ma sama dengan negative kx. Okay, where m is mass and a is acceleration. Determine dimension of the spring constant k. So, since the question asks us to determine k, so we rearrange equation k equal to ma over x. Jangan lupa letak negatif in front of A. Okay? So, since soalan nak dimension of K, so we put K in the square bracket, also any other physical quantity. So, negative 1 is the dimensionless constant. So, kita letak juga dalam square bracket. The square bracket meaning that it is a soalan. So, selagi tak jumpa jawapan, we have to put everything in the square bracket. So, a also soalan so letak dalam square bracket and then divide by x letak juga dalam square bracket and then after that we want to write jawapan but k still soalan kan so we have to put the square bracket so what is the dimension of negative 1 so dimensionless constant 1 lah and then m is mass so the dimension for mass is m besar so m besar is jawapan jangan letak square bracket anymore Okay, and then A, acceleration. So, letak LT, negative 2. Ini pun jawapan, jangan letak square bracket. If we have to, kita ke, boleh letak curve bracket. Okay, and then divide by X. X also, uh, lepas tu, untuk cari dimension K. So, K still soalan. So, we have to put K in the square bracket. Okay. So, what happened to L? Kita cancel out. So, the final answer for K is M T negative 2. Okay, kita tengok soalan kedua. Verify the homogeneity of the equation. V square equal to U square plus 2AS. If uh, we have this type of question, this will kita sahkan equation ni betul atau tak. So, what we have to do is, we separate it into two sides. Okay, so this is left hand side and this is uh, right hand side. Okay, so kalau kita tengok dekat right hand side tu, ada u square plus 2as. So, ada plus kat situ, ada operasi. But, remember what I told you before in the tips part. Kita tak boleh jawab soalan dimension bila dia melibatkan tambah, tolak atau any operation. So, meaning that if we want to check this equation is sah atau betul atau tidak, we have to do it one by one. Kita kena buat satu-satu. 
first we have to check v square and then after that we check u square and then after that we check 2as one by one okay so first we check the left hand side first okay v square so we put v inside the square bracket v uh, is the soalan so the square should be outside and then remember we only put physical quantity or symbol inside the square bracket okay so lt negative 1 square like this okay so l is jawapan t also jawapan tengok balik slide yang tips tadi cikgu kata ada tiga pilihan jawapan yang common dalam you all punya syllabus whether m besar L besar ataupun T besar okay? So the final answer is L kuasa 2 uh, T negative 2 okay, For right hand side pula What do we have is U square So check one by one U square Which is LT negative 1 kuasa 2 And then the final answer is L kuasa 2 T negative 2 And the last one is 2 AS See I do it separately uh, Kita tak boleh selesaikan soalan dimension Tiba-tiba U square tambah 2 AS And then we check everything Cannot. We have to do it one by one So dimension of 2 is 1 Darab dengan A acceleration is LT negative 2 And then S is displacement So L So meaning that L kuasa 2 T negative 2 So since the dimension for all physical quantity ni betul So meaning that the equation is Homogeneous So we have to make conclusion Okay kita tengok soalan ketiga Given to us kinetic energy K equal to half M power of X B power of Y Where M is mass and B is velocity Also given to us the dimension of K is ML square T negative 2 So dimension So this is the jawapan Ah, Dia dah given to us the jawapan So we write the equation K equal to half M power of X to B power of Y So soalan kata cari X and Y So dia nak suruh cari X and Y What we have to do is We have to put everything in the square bracket uh, why? Because this is physical quantity So must be put in the square bracket So what is the dimension of K? Uh, dah given dalam soalan Which is ML kuasa 2 T negative 2 And then dimension of half is 1 Dimension of M is capital M to the power of X And then dimension of V is LT negative 1 to the power of Y So what we have to do now adalah kita darab Kita punya uh, power kita tadi ni And then it becomes M L square T negative 2 Equal to M to the power of X L Y T negative Y Okay What we have to do now Adalah kita kena compare uh, Compare apa? Kita kena compare left hand side Dengan right hand side So first kita comparekan M dulu Kita compare M dulu So M The left hand side M is power of 1 The right hand side is M power of X Therefore X equal to 1 Okay done Now we compare the L Kita compare L Left, left hand side L square Right hand side L power of Y So therefore Y equal to 2 so since we have to unknown Kita ada dua je unknown X dengan Y So memadai lah kita compare M dengan L only Tapi kalau kita nak check Kita boleh juga comparekan Simbol T kita Left hand side T T kuasa negatif 2 And then right hand side T kuasa negatif Y So we cancel out So kita dapat juga Y equal to 2 So sama je lah uh, so therefore the equation So asalnya K equal to Half M to power of X V to power of Y So we substitute The X And the Y So the equation become K equal to Half M to the power of 1 V to the power of Y Y is 2 That's it
that's it okay thank you very much uh, for watching this video as an appreciation to me please like share and subscribe see you again